Taliban in Afghanistan have ordered all women TV anchors to wear face coverings on screen. The male TV presenters in Afghanistan are now taking a stand for their women anchors. Male anchors have now started covering their faces with masks before presenting the news. Our next report tells you more. Take a look. Moments before he goes on air, Afghan television anchor puts on a black mask. Why? This is to show solidarity with his female colleagues and to protest against the Taliban's order, which has forced the female presenters to cover their faces while anchoring. Nabil, who works for Tolo News, Afghanistan's main private television channel, is among many male anchors who are standing by their female counterparts. We are taking a stand in support of our female colleagues. During our live news broadcasts or other political shows, we are wearing masks on our faces as a protest. Earlier this month, Afghanistan's top leader, Hibatullah Akhundzada, issued a diktat for women to cover up fully in public. The Ministry for Promotion of Virtue and Prevention of Vice ordered women television presenters to follow suit. The women initially defied these orders, but now they are wearing full hijabs and veils that leave only their eyes on view across channels. We are fine with our female presenters wearing Islamic hijabs, but without masks, because it is difficult to conduct a program with masks for three or four hours like that. The Taliban officials do not appear to be in favor of rolling back the decree. Taliban spokesperson Inamullah Samangani questioned as to how it was okay to be forced to wear a tie but not okay to be forced to wear a hijab. He also asked why hijab could not be a uniform just like ties. Some male presenters fear that Taliban may impose similar restrictions on them. Today you have imposed restrictions on women. Many male presenters are now worried that tomorrow there will be restrictions on them too regarding how to dress. I am also worried about it. Meanwhile, several world leaders and rights group are now expressing concerns over the women's right in the Taliban regime. Bureau report, Vion, world is one.